yeah in the previous class we discussed about what more variation of atomic radius in period and group from top to bottom in a group from left to right in a period how the atomic radius changes we discussed and today we are discussing about what the variation of ionization potential from left to right in a period and from top to bottom in a group okay suppose first uh, what we are taking definition of ionization enthalpy so ionization enthalpy or ionization potential anyone we can say here ionization enthalpy or ionization potential or ionization energy we can say ip or ie or delta ih anyone we can use here now we have taken example sodium atom neutral atom of sodium now this sodium atom has electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 okay how many valence electrons one electron how many outermost electrons number of outermost electrons how many one in third orbit so in first orbit two electrons are there one s2 two electrons in first orbit 2s2 2p6 2 plus 6 eight electrons in the second orbit and one electron in the third orbit one electron in the third orbit so outermost electron is what now one number of outermost electrons how many one so this one electron if you want to remove from the sodium atom we have to supply some amount of energy so the energy required the minimum quantity of energy required the minimum quantity of energy required to remove the electron from the outermost orbit of a neutral atom in its ground state this atom is not excited atom here it is the atom in ground state sodium atom neutral sodium atom in ground state okay from the outermost orbit of this atom if you want to remove one electron we have to supply some amount of energy so this minimum quantity of energy required to remove the electron from the outermost orbit of a gaseous neutral atom of a gaseous neutral atom in the ground state the sodium we have taken gaseous state remember in which state we have taken the sodium gaseous state we have taken in gaseous state from the outermost orbit if you want to remove one electron the energy required is called what ionization energy or ionization potential is that clear so it is about what now here the ionization potential definition is that clear ma take the screenshot of this one the sodium electronic configuration we can also write what now 2 comma 8 comma 1 2 electrons in k shell 8 electrons in l shell one electron in m shell okay what is outermost orbit of sodium third orbit what is valence shell of sodium m shell valence shell is what m and uh, outermost orbit is what third orbit and number of outermost electrons how many one number of valence electrons how many one that's why if you remove one electron from sodium atom we get octet configuration after losing this electron the sodium gets what octet configuration and as sodium is losing one electron it becomes what now na plus it becomes what na plus so now sodium atom sodium atom with the neutral charge is losing what one electron so what is happening here loss of one electron is taking this loss of electrons so loss of electrons is called what ma oxidation loss of electrons is called what oxidation so sodium undergoes a loss of electrons that is oxidation to become which ion na plus ion na plus ion is formed here and one electron is lost here and this is called na plus ion is called uni uni positive ion of sodium uni pos positive ion of what sodium so uni positive ion of sodium is formed here cation is formed here cation with plus 1 charge and what is oxidation number of sodium 1 plus 1 is what oxidation state otherwise oxidation number oxidation state or oxidation number of sodium how much plus 1 like this after oxidation the sodium atom the metal atom the metal atom has been converted into uni positive sodium ion right after oxidation and sodium is undergoing what now oxidation na? sodium atom metal atom undergoes oxidation that's why the metal atom acts as which agent reducing agent reducing agent the sodium acts as which agent ma reducing agent not only sodium any metal any metal will act as which agent reducing agent why metals are reducing agents because the metals undergo oxidation 
metals undergo oxidation meaning what the metals lose electrons to become positive ions and as positive ion is formed this metal is called what now electro electro positive element metals are also called electro positive elements why metals are electro positive elements because the metals lose electrons to become positive ions that's why they are electro positive elements metals are electro positive elements and metals are generally reducing agents because the metals undergo what oxidation by losing what electrons to become which ion cation this ion is called what now here cation positive ion is called cation okay in the electric field in the electric field when positive charge and negative charge is there the sodium ions cations will be attracted towards uh, which electrode positive electrode or negative electrode the na plus ions have positive charge na this positively charged sodium ions will be attracted towards negative rod or positive rod in the electric field these na plus ions will be attracted towards negative rod negative rod the negative rod is called what anode or cathode what we have to say cathode cathode is called what negative rod so the cation will be attracted towards what attracted attracted towards cathode or anode tell me attracted towards cathode this cathode means which charged rod negative electrode or negative rod you say simply negative electrode rod so negative electrode rod this negative rod cathode will attract what cation cation means which charge positive charge the positively charged cations will be attracted towards cathode the negative rods is that clear ma in electric field in the electric field the cations will be attracted towards cathode because cathode has negative charge cations have positive charge unlike charges attract each other positive and minus negative and positive unlike charges attract each other that's why na plus is attracted towards what cathode in electric field is that clear so it's about what now here oxidation of sodium take the screenshot of this one now this uh, sodium sodium atom neutral atom if it loses one electron loss of electron it is giving what na plus ion na plus ion right now here what is electronic configuration of sodium atom 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 here 1s2 first orbit 2s 2p second orbit 3s third orbit in first orbit two electrons are there in second orbit eight electrons there in third orbit one electron is there how many outermost electrons one electron is there now it is not stable it is not stable if one valence electron is present if one valence electron is there that must be metal remember now after losing one electron the sodium has been converted into what na plus now na plus has how many electrons ma only 10 electrons na plus has how many electrons 10 but sodium atom has how many electrons 11 electrons sodium atom has 11 electrons but sodium ion has 10 electrons for 10 electrons how to write electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 okay here 1s2 first orbit with two electrons and second orbit with eight electrons now eight electrons in the outermost orbit now eight electrons in outermost orbit is called what octet configuration what is called octet configuration octet configuration means inert gas configuration octet configuration is nothing but inert gas configuration what is inert gas configuration otherwise octet configuration the presence of eight electrons in the outermost orbit in second orbit there are eight electrons 2 plus 6 eight electrons here sodium atom has nucleus with some positive charge plus 11 you take suppose plus 11 and here first orbit second orbit and third orbit three orbits are there here in first orbit in first orbit uh, how many electrons two electrons eight electrons one electron in sodium ion how many orbits are there around the nucleus around the positive nucleus what is the charge here plus 10 plus 11 plus 11 11 will be nuclear charge 
number of protons in the sodium atom 11 number of protons in the sodium ion also 11 only in the sodium nucleus na plus nucleus also how many protons will be there 11 only 11 protons means positive charge will be plus 11 suppose nuclear charge now first orbit and second orbit two orbits only there in first orbit two electrons there in second orbit eight electrons there now outermost electrons how many eight electrons eight electrons in the outermost orbit of na plus but in any atom one electron in the outermost orbit right ma so one electron in the outermost orbit eight electrons in the outermost orbit so this octet configuration gives stability to this na plus ion why sodium has lost one electron here to get what stability so octet configuration is what stable stable configuration stable electronic configuration as octet configuration is stable electronic configuration ec stands for what electronic configuration octet configuration is stable electronic configuration therefore the na plus gets what stability is that clear ma now this sodium absorbs some amount of energy na here the sodium atom absorbs what some amount of energy this energy absorbed is called what ionization energy so ionization energy is absorbed by this sodium atom and sodium atom has lost one electron to become what na plus ion so this amount of energy required by the neutral atom by the neutral atom to remove one electron from the outermost orbit is called what ionization energy the same thing is also called ionization energy one e i e one means first ionization enthalpy we say first ionization enthalpy or simply we say what ionization enthalpy simply what we say ionization enthalpy so what is here so the energy required is called what ionization enthalpy one okay so the same thing is called what i e one or simply i e first ionization enthalpy is that clear let's take the screenshot of this ma now see here now sodium already lost one electron to become na plus ion okay now here it is called energy required is called what we said ie1 or simply what we say ie ionization enthalpy the same thing we can also write i h1 delta i h1 means first ionization enthalpy what we say is one first ionization first ionization enthalpy first ionization enthalpy is that clear now so first ionization enthalpy or first ionization energy we can say here it is ip1 what we say ip1 or ie1 p means potential ionization potential ip1 or ie1 we can say now uni positive ion is formed now from this na plus from this na plus again if you want to remove one more electron if you want to remove one more electron from na plus suppose then the amount of energy required is called what now here ionization energy 2 ie2 we say here ie2 we can say or ip2 we can say and uh, second ionization potential or we can also say what delta i h2 delta i h2 or ie2 or ip2 will be called what now second ionization enthalpy so the amount of energy required the amount of energy required is called what now here second ionization enthalpy this is called uni positive ion what is called ma uni positive ion from uni positive ion if you want to remove one electron okay the energy required is called what second ionization so this much amount of energy is required to remove electron from na plus now when you remove electron from na plus what will be forming na plus 2 will form na plus 1 loses one more electron to become what na plus 2 that means from na plus if you want to remove electron we have to give large amount of energy why take here suppose here na plus electronic configuration tell me electronic configuration 2 comma 8 here electronic configuration is what 2 comma 8 comma 1 here one valence electron is there here eight valence electrons there eight valence electrons means what now stable electronic configuration stable 
electronic configuration. To remove electron from this stable electronic configuration, we have to supply large amount of energy. Here from eight electrons from octet configuration, if you want to remove electron, it is difficult. It is not easy. So to remove this electron from octet configuration, we have to give large amount of ionization enthalpy. So the ionization enthalpy to IE2 value is always greater than what? IE1. Okay, IE2 value will be greater than what? IE1. Why second ionization enthalpy is uh, very high here? The reason is that in case of second ionization enthalpy, we are removing electron from unipositive sodium ion. Unipositive sodium ion, Na plus 1, has octet configuration. Due to this octet configuration, stable configuration, it is difficult to remove electron from eight electrons. That is why we have to give large amount of energy here. When you supply large amount of energy, what happens? IP value, IP2 value will be greater. So IE2 will be greater than IE1, always. The reason understood here, ionization enthalpy 1 indicates what? First ionization enthalpy means what? The energy required to remove electron from neutral atom. It is what now here? Neutral atom. From neutral atom, if you want to remove electron, the amount of energy given is called what? IE1. From uni positive ion, if you want to remove electron, the amount of energy given is called IE2. That's why IE2 value will be greater than IE1. Let's take the screenshot of this now. Now take some metal, suppose. I'm taking one M metal. It is neutral. Neutral metal. Atom, suppose. From this already we removed one electron and we got M plus. M plus means for what I said, uni positive ion. Uni positive ion we got here. Uni means one. Plus one now here. Plus one means uni positive ion we got here. And here how many electrons lost? One electron lost. This energy required is called IP1. IP1 means IE1. First ionization potential is given to this metal atom. Then we got M plus. Now again, from this M plus, what we can get? M plus 2 we get. M plus 2. This is called di-positive ion. Di-positive ion. Okay. Now we got di-positive ion by removing electron from uni-positive ion. Right, ma? Now here, to this uni-positive ion, how much amount of energy is given now? IP2 is given. IP2 means for second ionization potential. So IP2 energy is given to what? M plus ion. To get converted into what? M plus 2. M plus 1 is converted into M plus 2. For this conversion, how much amount of energy required here? IP2. So second ionization potential is required here. Is that clear? Again, if you want to remove one more electron from this, to get what? M plus 3. M plus 3. M plus 3 is called what? Now try positive ion. Try positive ion. From M plus 2, if you remove one more electron, it becomes what? M plus 3. M plus 2 becomes what? M plus 3. If you remove one electron, plus charge will increase. Means what here? Plus 2 becomes plus 3 if you remove one electron. And plus 1 becomes what? Plus 2 by removal of one electron. And 0 becomes what? Plus 1 by removing one electron. That is for the removal of every electron, plus 1 charge increases. Plus one charge increases. So here, M plus two ion, di-positive ion, gives rise to tri-positive ion. Here, how much amount of energy given to this M plus two? To the M plus two ion, how much amount of energy is given? Ma? IP3 or IP2? IP3 is given here. What is given? IP3 is third ionization potential. So third ionization potential is given to M plus two ion. The amount of energy given to M plus 2 ion to remove electron is called what? IP3. And the amount of energy given to remove electron from I M plus 1 is called IP2. And the amount of energy given, the amount of energy given to the neutral atom, the amount of energy given to the neutral atom to remove electron is called what? IP1. So IP1 is given to neutral atom. IP2 is given to plus 1 ion. IP3 is given to plus 2 ion. Still, if you want to remove one more electron from this, still if you want to remove one more electron from this, then we get what? M plus 4. 
M plus four is called what now? Tetra positive ion. Tetra positive ion. If you want to remove one more electron from M plus three, here we have to supply how much energy? IP four or IP three? IP four. So the amount of energy given to M plus three, the amount of energy given to M plus three ion to remove one electron is called IP four. So the amount of energy required to remove electron from M plus three ion. Tri positive ion is called what? Fourth ionization potential IP four. So like this IP one, IP two, IP three, IP four. Now what will be greater than what? Tell me. IP four will be always greater than IP three. IP three is greater than what? IP two. IP two is greater than IP one. So this concept you have to understand here. Is that clear, ma? For the given ion here, for the given metal metal atom, what are the values here? IP one, IP two, IP three, IP four. If we take, what will be highest value? IP four, which will be least? IP one. Is that clear? So this is about what now here? The ionization potential concept. Okay. Take the screenshot of this moment. Yeah, now suppose I'm taking here uh, M zero, M plus one ion, M plus two ion, M plus three ion. Suppose among these, among these, which will be smallest in size? Tell me, smallest sized what among these species? The largest species is what neutral atom. The smallest Species is what this one, which is smallest here. The m plus three will be smallest. If the charge here plus one, plus two, plus three, when the charge on the metal atom increases, when the charge zero to plus one, plus one to plus two, plus two to plus three, when the charge increases on the metal atom, what happens to the size? The size will decrease. The size will decrease. Here the energy given, the amount of energy given. To the neutral atom to remove electron is called what IP one. 